Welcome to this mini class of Kids in the Kitchen. My name is Lorelai. I am one of the chefs at Sokokus Hill. Today I'm with my two boys. What's your name? I'm Romeo. What's your name? Um, I'm Steven. Steven. Um, so today we're talking about knives and knife safety and using some knives in the kitchen for cutting stuff since we do a lot of that in the kitchen. Um, first things that are important is making sure you have a height of your cutting board is the right height. So for me, this is a little bit short, um, but for William, this is the perfect height so he can really see what he's doing and he's using the knife in the right way. Um, other thing to remember that knives are tools, they're sharp, you need to treat them with respect. Knives always stay on the cutting board, that's the rule in our house. Um, no waving them about or anything like that. <laughs> um, William has a couple of knives to choose from over here. Um, he has a couple of carrying knives, but my favorite is the kids um, opinal, just because it forces the kid to kind of hold the knife in the right way. And your hand is way far up on the knife, it's holding it in the correct way, you have a lot of control this way. Um, so put, love you too. So why don't you start, yep, and so it also comes with this little guard you can use sometimes. Um, William likes them, sometimes he just uses his hands. So there you go, why don't you start? Perfect. Um, nice. Can you make the celery sticks? Sure, make some celery sticks. Yay. Oh yeah. So just, just go nice and slow. Just expect it's gonna take a little bit of time yeah. and you can have a turn in a minute. There we go. It's a great thing, um, get them in the kitchen to get to help you cut things for making carrot sticks, celery sticks, uh, when you're making soup, when it doesn't really matter you have, that you have perfect knife skills or knife cuts. I think also trying to figure out what to have your kids cut is really good. Celery is a really nice one because it's a little bit firm, um, doesn't roll around too much if you have it like this. It's pretty easy to cut through versus like a carrot is kind of hard and it can roll around. Broccoli is another good option to start with. Um, apples, once you kind of peel them a little bit for the kids, those are good things to start with. Um, any tips you want to give kids for? Don't your, throw knives. Don't throw knives. That's a good one. So you have any tips for kids when they're chopping? Don't throw knives that people don't to die. Yeah, that's a good one too. So get your kids in the kitchen, get some knives for them, and yeah, something to do together. <laughs> 